Hey everyone, it's Dylan and Charlie from the Black Forest Wood Company. This week we're going to be installing a solid cherry door that we actually stained completely black. Let us know what you guys think in the comments. We actually think it ended up turning out pretty good and thank you for watching. Start the extraction of the door and I'll zip it. But first we always put blankets everywhere. No. I'm thinking if we kick the bottom out, it'll slowly start to squeeze. Yep. Okay, there was none of that. It's like there's no insulation on the other side at all. It's just glue? Just glue. There she goes. on the downside. Okay. Watch we don't scratch the rock or anything there, okay? Okay. Still have a lot of clearance. Do we have enough? All we need um, is enough, right? If we keep angling towards you a little okay. bit. Oh, that got heavy real quick. Yeah, bring it down. It's coming right down. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We are not going to clear this railing though. Right. Oh, it's close, isn't it? Okay, so we got to keep it over our head. John, can you lift that ball? Yeah, let me try this. Let's see if we can get underneath it. Okay, easy. Oh, you're forcing us down the stairs. Sorry. Okay. We'll walk backwards. Okay. Oh, watch your right there. You alright? Yeah, just need to get higher. Here, pull out all the little staples, everything. We might look at this fiberglass off. Strip everything that's there, Jeff. Okay. Strip it. Get yeah. an exacto knife. Okay. Cut it. Pull the staples out. Clean the foam off the top. methodology to the blue skin application you start at the bottom and you overlap everything on top so any water flow deflects on top of each layer here I get that off fold this guy over this is beautiful location for a solid wood door too it's very well protected from direct sunlight uh, but we just go with the full procedure of, of a full extreme exposure door Thirty-seven. Okay, so that should go in there easy, 
right? See the 40? Five. Yeah, we're like 50. So that should go in there easy. We forgot our shim box. So now Brad's gonna go pick up some shims and our screws. So we can hang the doors. I think we can still screw down this brick mold though. Same diameter as the lamello. Is it, we're gonna glue it on right now. Yeah, cut it. For it to set. Are you got a belt sander? Belt sand it. Uh, I don't know if we got a belt sander, but I can. I got the table saw. A little grinder and just mm -hmm, yeah. very carefully. See you guys. See you in a few minutes. Tip it up this way. Hey, right, a couple of young guys. Up. Hang on. Push it. Up to the edge here. Okay, good there. Yeah. Pull it back a bit so the brick mold lands on the blanket. Good enough. No, touch it. Put the brick mold on the a little farther out. Right there. Okay. Just come around, you guys. Yeah. Now hold it there, Rush. Yeah. And we can tilt it way right down. Okay. Good? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Just go inside it. Go up yeah. over our heads, guys. In the inches. Okay. Now you got to start going down. Right? We're going up. Okay. We'll go tight to that side, John. You got to come a little bit more. Yeah. I'm going to go this way. That's it. Are you going to want one right in the middle, Leshik? Yeah, we, like, we're going to see, but it's like, if it's cap, like, it's better to put the screw, so if the... Yes, it is. Yes. Okay, and that's good, and that's good. All right, yeah, so that's screw. snug all the way across. You're not screwing up the, the vapor barrier when you're sliding your shim in, right? Yeah, just You're trying to so give it enough nice. clearance. Woo -hoo -hoo. A little bit more. Yeah, yeah. Still loose. Okay. Let's try that. Okay. Now we have to rotate. Okay. Hold her steady there, guys. Mr. Lechik will be on the drill. Well, you should see, you will be very happy. You will be very oh, happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? There's your three mil gap right yeah, there. Straight down and kind of walk it in on the edge on an angle. And drive the screw. Like the top we don't, but it's like.
is healthy for you? I just put the black tape. Black tape. Twist it and just put the black tape. So I don't know, you guys, I don't know how we, how we do it, but it seems like we just keep getting better and better and better at this job. Not only we're good looking, but our doors are killing it these days. We are so proud of this thing. This looks absolutely beautiful. Total team effort by the Black Forest again. Yeah. yeah. So yes, that, that was actually a solid cherry door. Uh, the client, they just loved the wood species cherry. You know, obviously they could have picked something else if they were gonna stain it black, but they know what they wanted. They were particular. So we picked the cherry for them, we stained it black, and then we put our Black Forest exterior oil on, which isn't available yet. It will be eventually, not yet, uh, but it really kind of made that door just pop and actually look gorgeous with the black stain. So. That's just my opinion though. Let us know what you guys think. Um, Charlie did say that he liked the door because it matched him. Uh, he, he really appreciated that. And uh, he, he wants us to do more like that in the future. So thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next week.